What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today I'm gonna to be talking about jailbreaking and basically all of the troubleshooting that goes along with jailbreaking. A lot of people are having a lot of issues. So what I wanted to do in this video is first of all, answer a lot of your questions here. I asked on Twitter if you guys had questions to send them to me and I was just gonna basically go through there and answer the most common ones. So I'm gonna be doing that in the first part of this video and then I'm gonna hop over to my desk and I'm gonna show you some stuff on the phone. So basically just some tips and tricks that you guys need to know as well as some tutorials on how to get things working on your phone. But I didn't wanna you know, just talk to you guys while showing my phone the entire time because that's boring to look at. I don't know if I'm much more fun to look at but we're gonna do it anyway so just deal with it. So let's go ahead and get into this. First question is not a question. It says you should make a video for the top best 9.3.3 Cydia tweaks. And that is already on the way. So don't you fret my friend. That is something that I'm already working on so it should be here soon. So get hyped for that. Next question, does the Apple Watch work if it's connected to a jailbroken iPhone? Absolutely. Next question, what should I do? Keep my iOS 9.1 jailbreak or update in jailbreak 9.3.3? So for me, if I were to choose, I would update to 9.3.3 and jailbreak. The only downside of having the 9.3.3 jailbreak versus the 9.1 jailbreak is that the 9.3.3 jailbreak is semi-tethered, but it's barely semi-tethered. So basically what semi-tethered means is that you every time that your device dies or your device turns off, so if the battery dies or you reboot your device, then you have to re-jailbreak your phone. But it's so easy on the new Pangu jailbreak that you literally just open up an application and then you tap on the screen, you lock your device, and then it reboots and re-jailbreaks the phone. So it's really, really simple. And a lot of people somehow didn't, I guess they didn't watch the entire video or something, but that's how you re-jailbreak and that's how easy it is. So if you have Cydia crashing or another application crashing, then do that first. So I'm actually gonna show you that when we hop over to the phone, but I would, I would update to 9.3.3 and jailbreak. Is it worth waiting for a fully untethered jailbreak or just jailbreak now? Absolutely jailbreak now. Don't wait for an untethered jailbreak. One, there's probably not going to be a fully untethered jailbreak. Two, if there is a fully untethered jailbreak, you're probably going to just do an update in Cydia, just like our previous jailbreaks, that basically untethers the jailbreak and allows you to have that untethered jailbreak. So if you jailbreak now, you don't have to re-jailbreak later, you'll just download a package from Cydia and you'll be untethered. That's what usually happens anyways. When is the perfect jailbroken iPhone series coming back? Soon, very soon. This is a question that I am getting asked a ton. Is there a jailbreak for 32-bit devices right now? Right now, no, there's not. Is there going to be one? I have no idea. I have no idea. I can't answer that question. Pangu has not uh, said anything about you know an update for 32-bit devices. There was a Twitter account, the PP25 jailbreak or whatever, that said that they were going to work on a 32-bit uh, device jailbreak, but that Twitter account isn't real like it's a fake Twitter account so a lot of people were tweeting me at that or tweeting that at me and it's not even real so just just know that at this point we're just gonna have to wait and see if a 32-bit device jailbreak comes out all right so those are all the questions I'm gonna answer on camera let's jump over to my phone and I'm gonna show you how to fix a lot of bugs and just some tips and tricks for you guys to just take advantage of now that you're jailbroken all right, so here we are in Cydia. Now, when you're going through Cydia and you're looking at tweaks and themes and all that good stuff, there is a lot of the time you'll get a pop-up that says App Store Redirect. That basically is a pop-up right here. You have to either tap OK or tap Cancel. Hardly ever do you want to be redirected to the App Store because it's basically just an ad to tell you to download some dumb game or something. So the way to actually fix this is search for a tweak called No App store redirect right there. So we tap on that and then we can install it. So once you install this, you can actually set up Cydia to always block App Store redirect. So that way you never get a pop-up uh, for that while you're inside of Cydia. So we'll restart the springboard. So we're resprung, we're gonna go into settings and we're gonna scroll down here to no App Store redirect and then you tap enabled and then you can tap always block. Scroll down here to Cydia, toggle that on, Respring your device just by tapping here and then tap respring and then you don't have to worry about App Store uh, redirects coming up in city anymore. So that's awesome. 
Next, if you have applications that are actually crashing every time you try to open one up, then those applications probably have jailbreak detection. So what that means is that the application, when you tap on it to open it, recognizes that you have a jailbreak and crashes the app so you can't access it. This is basically just for security reasons. So in my opinion, it's pretty dumb because it's really easy to actually fix. So all you wanna do is just go into Cydia and then you wanna download and install TS Protector 8 Plus. So this is going to work on iOS 8 and newer. And then once you install that, you hopefully won't have any more issues opening up applications. Now I'm actually going to try to find a different uh, tweak that works with this as well because another thing that I wanted to mention is if you see an unable to purchase uh, little banner right here in any tweak or any theme, that's because Cydia has not been updated yet to work on iOS 9.3.3. So you are going to have to wait until Cydia is updated in order to actually purchase these tweaks and themes that you see this banner on. Another caveat to this is that I have already purchased this. So they don't block you if you've already purchased it. So if I purchased this back in iOS 8, then in iOS 9.3.3, I still have an install button. But if you haven't purchased it before and you updated to 9.3.3 and you have this unable to purchase, that means that you cannot purchase it. So hopefully that makes sense. Next, if you jailbreak your device and you don't see anything in Cydia, so if you tap on search and you try to search for something and absolutely nothing comes up, everything's blank, then that means that you need to download and install Apple File Conduit 2. So you can't actually search for Apple File Conduit 2 because you can't search for anything. So what you wanna do is hop over here to Cydia. Sorry, you wanna to go to sources, and then you wanna tap on Cydia Telesforio. So we tap on that, we tap on all packages, and then we look for Apple File Conduit 2. And it's gonna be right there. So you're actually not going to be able to search for it, but you can still find it through your sources. So you just wanna tap on that, and then tap on modify, install, and then respring your device, and you should be good to go. So this is something that you have to have that's going to basically make the re-jailbreaking process work. All right, so I just rebooted my phone. So when you reboot your phone, you can see that my device looks different. I don't have any of my tweaks activated, so none of my tweaks are working, which means I'm not jailbroken anymore. So if I try to open up Cydia, it's actually going to crash, just like that. And if I try to open up this PP tool, it's gonna to crash too. That means that you are not jailbroken anymore. So what you have to do is actually open up this application right here. So you should have the jailbreak tool app on your device. So you tap on that, it's going to open up. And you might get a little pop up here that says, can I send you notifications? Or do you want to allow notifications from this app? Tap yes or okay or whatever that says. And then all you have to do is just tap on the circle. Tap on the circle and then lock your device. Give it like two seconds before you lock your device. And then that's all you have to do. You can see that I'm actually, it's not gonna give me a notification because I had it on do not disturb, but what it's gonna do is reboot your device, as you can see right there. So now I'm jailbroken again. You can see that the orientation of my applications have changed. I have the better five column springboard, and you can see if I swipe over here, tap on Cydia, it's gonna open right back up. So a lot of people are missing that. A lot of people are asking, why is Cydia crashing? And it's because all you have to do is open up this app, tap the circle, there's no circle there right now, but tap the circle and then hit the lock button and then let it do its thing. That's all you have to do and it'll fix it. Now, a lot of people are asking me, how do you want to jailbreak your device? And it's actually really simple. And they're asking me why I have never made a video on it. And I have made a video on it. If you guys would just search YouTube, you'd find it. But <laughs> it's actually really simple. There's a few ways you can do this. One is you can go into DFU mode on your device. So basically you would have to download the IPSW. So you would have to download the 9.3.3 IPSW for your device. And then you would put your device into DFU mode. And DFU mode is really simple. So basically you hold down the power button right here and the home button at the same time. And then once it goes black, the screen goes black, then you're gonna let go of the uh, power button and continue holding the home button. And you'll know that you're in DFU mode when you see a little pop-up on your computer basically saying there's a device in recovery mode, please restore your device. This way you can just restore your device through iTunes. Of course, before you do that, you do want to back up your device. I have also unjailbroken my device just by going into settings here and then tapping on general, scrolling all the way down to reset and then tap on erase all contents and settings. And that will actually unjailbreak your device and put it back to stock. 
Now again, make sure that you back up your device before you do anything like this because you will lose all your data. Erasing all contents and settings, you will lose all your data if you don't back it up. A third way to unjailbreak. It's actually not working just yet, but it will be. If you go ahead and tap on Cydia, you can actually download Cydia Eraser. So right now it's not updated, but hopefully soon it will be. So Cydia Eraser is made by Soric, who basically created Cydia. And if you tap on modify and install, you'll see that you need a lower firmware than what we have on our devices right now. But basically you just run that and it completely gets rid of uh, Cydia as well as the jailbreak and keeps you on that firmware. So this is a huge tool that you want to keep in the back of your mind. You might want to download this or make a note of it uh, once it's available because the benefit of Cydia Eraser is that it doesn't upgrade your firmware. So that is really, really powerful because usually like when iOS 10 comes out, Apple is going to stop signing 9.3.3. So if you have issues on your device and you want to restore back to stock, then you're going to have to go back to 9.3.3 in order to jailbreak. And the only way to do that is by using Cydia Eraser. Because if you try to unjailbreak your device any other way, then it's going to upgrade you to iOS 10. At that point, you can't downgrade, you're stuck on iOS 10, and you can't jailbreak your device. So, like I said, this is going to keep you on the same firmware that you're already on and where you can be jailbroken. So this is a tool you definitely want to have once Soric actually updates it. Next, if you go ahead and open up Cydia here, and then it starts to refresh all of the sources, which are all these right here, and you get a black screen here with some red text. Let's say it says whatever repo, let's just say that Riley's repo right here is down. So you'll get actually red text down here basically saying that it can't connect to it or it's having trouble refreshing this repo. So that's not really an issue. You just basically can't access tweaks in that particular repo. Also, if you're trying to download or install a tweak or a theme or anything like that, and you get a black screen with red text that basically says something failed or it can't locate this package or it's missing some file, that is probably because you didn't allow your device to refresh completely. So when you open up Cydia, almost every single time, unless you recently did it, you have to refresh your sources. And it should do this on its own when it needs to. So if you open up Cydia and you have loading dials on some of these before it actually says reloading data, and then you try to download a tweak or theme before it reloads the data, then you're gonna have issues. So if you get that text, just back out and then tap on refresh in your sources tab, and then let that completely reload. So the dial will go away up here when it's completely reloaded, you'll get the little reloading data and then try to install your tweaker theme and it should work. Next is just a tip. So you don't have to install tweaks and themes one at a time and respring your device every time. It's actually really simple to queue your tweaks so you can install multiple ones at the same time. So for instance, if we just go ahead and tap on status, let's just say that we wanted to, looks like I already had, let's just do status bar switcher. So if I tap install, tap on continue queuing. So at that point, the package is in queue so you can download more themes, you can download more tweaks at the same time. So now let's just say that we wanted to actually uninstall this tweak. So we're going to remove it. So you can see that we have install this tweak, remove this tweak, and if we wanted to do more, we can go back to continue queuing. So at this point, let's just say that we're done. We say we have like five tweaks we're gonna install and like three tweaks that we're going to uninstall. So now we can go down here, tap on installed tab, and then tap on queue right up here. And then you can tap confirm, and it's going to complete those actions that you have set up here. So that makes your life just a lot easier in terms of installing and removing tweaks and themes. Just some quick helpful advice. The Cydia tab is basically the home tab that you don't do hardly anything on at this point just because it's never updated so you don't really have any useful information here other than your manage account, which you can manage your account. Uh, the sources is obviously where you're going to add sources. Uh, so you can actually search specific sources by tapping on this and then tapping on you know whatever section you're looking for. So if you're looking for tweaks, you can tap on tweaks. If you're looking for multimedia or entertainment, you can tap on those, or you can just tap on all packages to show all the packages within that particular repo. Also, if we wanted to add a repo, you would tap on edit, tap on add, and then you can enter the repo right here. So this is going to give you access 
to tweaks and themes and everything that's not necessarily in the default repos. So of course the default repos are Big Boss, City of Telesforio, as well as Mod My Eye, Repo 666, which I have no idea why this is a default repo. There's n there's never anything on it anymore, as well as Zod, TDD, and Max City. So this is where you're gonna see a lot of themes and stuff. Here is the changes tab. So here, this is where you're going to see tweaks that are already installed on your device and the available upgrades that you're going to see. So you can see available upgrades right here, these two check marks. So if I tap upgrade, it's going to upgrade those two particular tweaks. Also down here, you're gonna see all the changes. So basically the new tweaks that were added to Cydia or from a new repo. So you can see right here that these aren't necessarily new tweaks, but I did add a repo recently. So if you add a repo, then it's gonna show all of those tweaks uh, right there at the top of the list for that particular repo. But once you have your repos in for quite some time, let's say we have all of our repos in for like five days, then for new, it's actually only going to show brand new tweaks that are recently uh, submitted to Cydia and themes and all that good stuff. Over here, install, this is going to be all of your installed tweaks that you have on your device. You can tap on expert mode right up here and it's not too much different. And you also have recent. So basically the most recent applications that you've installed or the tweaks that you've installed. And obviously search is going to allow you to search. So that's basically a quick rundown of everything in Cydia just in case a lot of you guys uh, are new to jailbreaking. I just kind of wanted to get that out there so you guys know how to use Cydia. Also something that is in particular to Pokemon Go, a lot of people are getting a no GPS uh, issue. They're getting like a little banner notification that says no GPS when they open up Pokemon Go and they're like in the middle of the ocean. So the way to fix this is you need to reboot your device. Reboot your device and then turn on location services for that app. So you would just basically go down here, you would tap on privacy, and then you would tap on location services. Make sure that location services is enabled and then tap on, sorry, tap on Pokemon Go and then make sure it is while using the app. So you want Pokemon Go to use your location. Otherwise, you're gonna get a GPS issue. So just make sure if you're getting that banner to reboot your device and then do this. All right guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out. Also, you guys probably wanna check out some of these videos right here. And if you guys wanna see a top tweaks video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.